Vegas Movie Studio Platinum fully supports editing in 360 degrees so that you can use the software to create fully immersive video experiences that your audience can view with their popular headsets. Editing in 360 degrees works essentially the same as it does with regular video, so all of the techniques you already know for editing in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum will work with footage shot on your 360 degree camera too. To edit in 360 degrees, just add your clips to the timeline from the Explorer window or any other method you normally use. If you are using footage from several of the popular cameras, Vegas Movie Studio recognizes the footage as 360, so click yes to the question, do you want to set your project video settings to match this media? This automatically sets everything up for you so that you can effectively work with your footage, so you don't need to worry about adjusting project properties. However, we'll go through the settings now so that you know what to do if your camera's footage was not recognized. First, choose Project Properties. On the Video tab of the Project Properties dialog box, notice that Vegas Movie Studio has automatically selected the 360 output checkbox and set other parameters such as the width and height, frame rate, and others. If your footage was not recognized, select this checkbox now. Next, set the other properties to match your footage. Click the OK button. Now that your video properties are properly set, click the 360 mode button in the Video Preview window. This enables you to grab the video preview and move to any angle in the 360 degree sphere. If the footage you added was already stitched, you are ready to start editing. If not, as in my case, your video doesn't look quite right yet. Vegas Movie Studio can stitch the footage for you. Click the Video Effects tab to bring that window forward. Drag the dual fisheye stitching thumbnail onto your timeline clip event. The video preview already looks better, but you can dial it in even more. You can adjust the individual parameters to get the best stitching results possible. Now, as you pan around the 360 degree sphere in the video preview window, you get a smooth view of your video. As you move around your video, notice that the orientation graphic shows you where in your file you're currently looking. Point your mouse to the orientation graphic and roll your mouse wheel away from you and towards you. As you do this, you change the angle of view for the video preview window so you see more or less of the video at a time. Find the view that works best for what you're trying to accomplish. If your footage is shaky, right-click the Timeline Clip event and choose Media Effects. From the list of plugins in the Plugin Chooser window, choose 360 degree video stabilization. Click the Add button and then click OK. Now click the Analyze Motion Data button. When the analysis is complete, adjust the smoothing parameter if you feel that you need even more stabilization. You can use the Vegas Scene Rotation plugin for a number of rotational adjustments on your footage, but it's also useful to place text or other objects at specific locations in your 360 degree environment. Click the Media Generators tab and drag the Titles and Text thumbnail into your project above your 360 event. Make whatever adjustments you want to make to the text and then close the Video Media Generators window. Pan your video preview and notice that your text pans with the video. But what if you want your text to be behind you, or to the left, or up? To accomplish this, click the Video Effects tab and drag the Scene Rotation plugin onto your text event. In the Video Preview window, you see this destroys the text background transparency, so back in the Video Effects window, drag the Mask Generator onto the text event. This masks out the black background. Now click the Scene Rotation button in the Effects chain. Adjust the three Turn Around X, Y, and Z axes parameters to place the text where you want it. Keep in mind that you need to be aware of your video's stitch location and will not be able to place the text to span that area. Once you're done editing your video, click the Make Movie button in the Dashboard window. You can upload the file directly to your social media or save it to your hard drive. Click the Save It to My Hard Drive button. Select the MP4 Radio button and then the Advanced Options button. Notice that Vegas Movie Studio has filtered your possible render formats to just Magix HEVC AAC MP4. This is the format you need to use for rendering 360 degree video. Select that option and then select the template that matches your delivery requirements. Finally, 
click the render button to create your file.